This week in the cruise world was just insane to put it that way. We have a cruise ship that was grounded resuming sailings out of Port Canaveral, Florida, plus Norwegian Cruise Line launched an NFT project and is sold out in a record time. Welcome back to the Cruise News Update. My name is Tyler. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are new, please consider liking and subscribing so you'll be notified when we do more shows just like this. So this week was never a shortage of cruise news. We'll begin with Norwegian Cruise Line. The Norwegian Escape uh, is reported to begin cruises out of Port Canaveral this weekend after it was cleared uh, by local authorities along with uh, cruise line officials to resume sailings after it was grounded in the Dominican Republic a few weeks ago. Now here at the Cruise Junkie, we're going to stay on top of this story over the next few weeks and see how this develops with the ship and to see if this ship does need to go into dry dock when it does its European season later this year. So now we're going to be switching gears with Norwegian Cruise Line. We're talking about their NFT art project that was launched this week and sold out within 20 minutes. Yes, you heard me right. They sold out of all their NFTs in 20 minutes. So Norwegian Cruise Line's NFT project featured the artist who created the art hull design for the all new Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. And the profits from this NFT project is being donated to Tech for America. Now this NFT project by Norwegian Cruise Line was one of the first ever projects in the cruise industry in the NFT landscape. So this is very, very cool to see. Hopefully more cruise lines get into this interesting realm of NFTs in the near future. And lastly, we're going to end up our NCL segment here with the Pride of America. The Pride of America successfully resumed sailings out of Hawaii, offering seven night cruises to the Hawaiian Islands. Now, as of right now, due to the protocols in place with Hawaii, uh, a lot of dining venues are on limited, you know, limited options. You can only go to a select dining options compared to the normal amount of dining options offered on board the Norwegian Pride of America due to the capacity uh, and cruise shortage on board this cruise ship. Speaking of cruising resort, we're going to sail over to Royal Caribbean where the 1999 Voyager of the Seas resumed sailings out of Barcelona, Spain. Now this voyage on board the Voyager of the Seas is a repositioning sailing, we'll still repositioning to Northern Europe where she'll offer cruises to the Isles. She'll also offer cruises to Denmark, Norway, and many other countries. Again, uh, the 1999 Voyager of the Seas is Royal Caribbean's first Voyager class ship and one of the last Voyager class ships to resume sailings. So there you have it folks, you are caught up with your quick dose of your cruise news updates. Again, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ding the bell so we don't apply when we do more of these quick doses of cruise news updates.